What? Death? What are you- What are you doing, man? Oh, no. I didn't know that was possible! I thought it could just be the people of the family. I love how Tonsils is over here and he's like, Hey, Spleens, you having a good time? And Spleens is like, HELL YES! Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can force people to stand in queue lines until they die or go completely insane. It's The Sims 4. We have a new member of the family today. Unfortunately, Julia Coakley could not find her way out of the thousand mile hallway house. And thus we are joined by Spleens the Cat. Spleens the Cat is an adorable creature. Just like Gandalf, he sleeps with his eyes open. And don't hate on my name, what do you want, okay? Every single cat is always named after an object, all right? It's always like mittens or buttons or something like that. What's wrong with Spleens? Oh, here we go. Spleens is awake. Here he is! Spleens, in case you're wondering, is a mixed breed. Uh, I believe it's actually a she. Uh, Spleens is a calico mixed with cocaine. A cocaineco, if you will. Spleens has the paranoid trait, uh, but he has evolved. So his eyes derp out to the sides so much that he is able to see in a 240 degree rotation. His ears also make up about 20% of his entire body mass. But wait! There's more. Spleens now has a potential suitor, Tonsils. Tonsils, much like his namesake, had to be surgically removed from the last house he was a part of. His fertility is off the charts. <laughs> and I want to see if he can impregnate the various other Spleenses that are here and how long my Sims will last with this many cats. You probably have noticed by now but I decided to add a new member to the family. This is Turnip, a dog that has not been the same since the accident. Turnip was born with exposed big brain syndrome. Being highly intelligent and having ears that go down to his knees means that he often trips and falls. He's also afraid of getting pet because there's the potential that someone will prod his medulla oblongata and cause him to have an aneurysm. The Sims 4 has come out with Eco Living, and as you can see, one half of spleens is like, what do I see over there? Well, past Florida man's overpowering bath towel and well-manicured legs is the lot that will probably inevitably kill all of my Sims. Spleens is running away! No, my God! I think that this is actually a new record for Spleens' eye distance. She's like, don't try and stop me. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. You know you guys have a lot more hours to potentially even try to get to a thousand hours, right? Spleens is like a thousand hours. You better take a zero off of that. Hey, Tonsils, what the hell are you doing? Why are you, why are you like chilling out on top of the, top of the end table? You gonna eat those burgers, or are you just gonna use them to perfume you? Oh, Tonsils is back! He's like, hey guys, I brought you guys a package and hepatitis. One of the things that you could grow in the garden is catnip, and Spleens is like, I love this shit! Spleens is hungry. Oh, we can't have that. Spleens is over here. She's like, listen, normally I subsist on y'all's tears, but since no one's crying, I'm starving. Pour out the kitten chow. Willie is like legit going for it. She's like the only Sim that never leaves the computer so far. What the hell is that on the forum over here? Is that like a picture of bootleg spleens? Immediately right after Florida Man died, Tonsils took his bed. He's like, well, you won't be needing this anymore. And as always, Turnip the dog is just far away. Oh, he's drinking from the toilet. He's like, there ain't nothing like high-end toilet water. All right, Tonsils is napping and spleens is awake. She's over here, she's like, I wouldn't want to miss the lights going out of their eyes. My Sims have now been walking for almost an entire week, seven days. I didn't, I didn't make the cats immortal, but I mean, I guess somehow they're still alive. Tonsils is like, due to his poor eyesight, he's like, Spleens is still alive? I love how Spleens just lays here like this. She doesn't, she doesn't like sleep really with her eyes closed. She just rests with them open, staring, waiting. Desiring sweet cocaine. What? What the hell? What the hell is this? What the hell happened to Spleens? Jesus Christ, she turned into Mr. Freeze from Batman. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Spleens looks like she has jaundice right now. She's like, I've had nothing to eat but sweet powder for the last 12 days. I like how she has like 50 different types of illnesses 
Tonsils is totally fine. God, this is awful. I've got like an infection in my spleens. Unfortunately for spleens, the cat, there is no extreme woohooing options for her. I feel like she would be like, I don't need extreme options. My default setting is always on. Tonsils has options, he just can't find them. He's like, it's crazy, I can only see one half of the options. The other half is blocked by something. You may also notice that Spleens is looking at something very intently. When one of her eyes tries to leave her skull, that means it's something important happening. And so if you were ever mentally unstable enough to want this being on a piece of clothing, there is now Spleens merchandise which you will find in the YouTube shelf below. I'm gonna try and have plushies coming soon, Spleens. It's like, Jesus Christ. No, Spleens, you don't get a cut of the profits. You just get to watch more of your friends die. She's probably still like, ah, eh, fair trade. Turnip is running away. That is, that is a lie. Turnip is not running away. Spleens is over here. She's like, yeah, yeah, it's very sad. Is anyone gonna feed me? I also appreciate that Tonsils is still foaming at the mouth. Like, Turnip is being taken away by a pet care person? What the hell? He's fine. He's watching TV. Look, we have a good relationship with him. This isn't even his urine. It's a Sims urine. Turnip has defeated a wild squirrel in paw to paw combat. Where? What the hell happened? Did the squirrel like meld into his body? Oh, the cats are so sad. Tonsils is like, no. Spleens is running away. No, Spleens. Don't you run from this. There's still, there, there'll be more comedy shows. I swear to God. And Turnip is back. Though he may look like he constantly lives in fear. Here. He brought us a present. Spleens? Spleens, why? Why are you glowing, Spleens? Spleens is over here. She's like, well, I had a stuffed up nose, so, um, yeah, you, you, you get the rest. Okay, now more of Spleens is starting to glow. She's over here. She's like, you ever heard of Bruce Leroy? I've got the glow. What the hell? Spleens is going into labor? What the hell? How? Spleens, how the hell did you get pregnant? Oh, it was the one time you got out. You little hoe. Congratulations. A kitten is born. What would you like to call him? Kidneys. Spleens, I'm very curious. What does your little juvenile cat look like? Oh, his eyes don't derp quite as much. Hey, I was wrong. I, that's my mistake. Oh, thank God. Turnip is back. He's covered in flies. And he's got a bad heading, but he's brought us a present. How you doing there, Spleens? Spleens is like, loving humans is hard, but eating their plants is easy. As is licking her groin. She's like, don't look at me, it's embarrassing. This is a fantastic pose. This is what I should have put on the merchandise. I like how Spleens is so sad. She's like, I'm supposed to be the only woman everyone loves. Tonsils is over here in the bathroom. He doesn't actually need to use it. He's just hungry for Drano. I love how Spleens is over here and she's like, this isn't actually a salt water pool. It just tastes salty because of all of the tears. Ah, uh, Tonsils has left the girls a nice fresh cat leaving. Very romantic. Uh, it's good to see that while Australian man and Florida man are taking it easy, both spleens and tonsils are working extra hard. Spleens is like, that 30 minutes of sleep was good enough to last me for the next 12 years. Spleens is over here talking to this woman. Spleens is like, you know what I love most about you, ma'am? And she's like, what? And Spleens is like, you're edible. Now here's the real hero of the entire episode. This man just became friends with tonsils. Who wouldn't want to be friends with tonsils? I love that the thing that's closest to Ellis right now is spleens. Figure I'd just take a moment to give you all a horrifying spleens image. Even spleens is out here by the pool. She looks extra crazy. She's like, yeah, I replaced all the chlorine with cocaine. This dude's over here looking at you know, like the Encyclopedia Britannica. He's like, what is this creature before me? Meanwhile, Tonsils is like, I love transmission fluid. In case y'all didn't know, Spleens is a lazy cat. Can you tell? <laughs> she doesn't look lazy. She just looks like she's been hitting the JD for the last 12 hours. Poor Spleens is over here. She's like, I gotta use the goddamn bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> I like how all the Spleens are like here. If there's one thing that Spleens loves, it's a full liquor bar. Tonsils is like, I can't take this shit anymore. Just do it already. However, Spleens still loves Australian man the most. Legit, when I put this down here, do you know who was the very first Sim into the bar area? It was Spleens. <laughs> She's like, alcoholism, hell yes. 
Spleens came in here. She started looking through the different rooms. She's like, what do I spy with my little eye? Is that a full liquor bar? <laughs> it is, Spleens. There's wine racks, kegs, the full liquor bar. I'm probably gonna end up having to add bigger and more full liquor bars because if everyone's going to be an alcoholic, I imagine everyone's going to want to be at the bar all the time. Both Spleens and Tonsils have run away. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Tonsils is like, there's plenty of salty sim water on the ground to drink. Oh, hell yeah. Spleens is back, y'all. And she's vomiting up a present for everyone. <laughs> and right as she arrived back home, someone just died somewhere. <laughs> Both Spleens and Tonsils have realized that they've been locked out since all the sims have been locked in. And thus, they must fight for dominance to see who is the superior being. Wow, that was the... That was the worst battle I have ever seen in my entire life. I think that the problem is because Spleen's eyes turn outward and Tonsils' eyes turn inward, they both couldn't see one another, so they thought the other one left. Tonsils is like, I won! Spleen's is over here, she's like, Gray, what the hell did you do? All right, Spleen's, I'm gonna open the door. You need to get in without letting anyone out. Ready? Go! Nice. This dude has come to take away Tonsils and even he looks depressed. He's like, God, I feel sorry for these people. Spleens is like, you know, it's a sad day when I can't see anything directly in front of me because my eyes are canted at 270 degrees and I can use the bathroom correctly. Someone else just died. Spleens looks so crazy over here. She's like, old people are like a fine wine. You gotta age them and they're delicious. You can see they're all dancing a jig. And Spleens is happy that she finally gets to see the sun again. I can't tell if Spleens is watching this performance or if she's trying to warn everyone. She's like, stop, you morons. Let me give you a litter box, Spleens, right next to the performance. I'm basically trapping these people in this performance with pet supplies. I like how everyone is dying and Spleens is just still over here. She's like, I'm still waiting for Babs's encore. Florida man is like, I wonder what Spleens is thinking. Spleens is like, I love cocaine. It's time you learned about death, Tonsils. Do you know what this is? He's probably like, food. Don't you die on top of my cat. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Don't fall to the left. I mean, yes, fall to the left. I feel like Tonsils' presence over here is spontaneously killing people because there is a lot of death happening around him right now. I like how everyone here is having something to eat and Tonsils is like, feed me for God's sakes. He's figured it out. If he just teleports his head inside of the pantry, he'll find something that's edible. Turnip is an aggressive dog. I told you he gets worried when people try and pet him. He's like, don't you goddamn touch me. Turnip, much like a shark, has over 500 teeth inside of his mouth. This guy's like, all right, well, fuck you too. Five left, but the loss that hurts the most is Spleens. <laughs> Spleens has returned. This is the most important thing that's happened. It's like she's vomiting up someone's birthday present. Spleens is like, oh yeah, I had your present around here somewhere up here. And as Spleens dies, this lady dies from anger. How could you be angry at Spleens, you heartless bitch? I have prepared the Sims with a luxurious mansion that has multiple bathrooms and bedrooms and places to eat. However, do you know what my Sims love to do every time I give them everything they could possibly want? They love to die. We don't have bats in the Sims. We have hamsters, but it's good enough. Everyone who enters the property must pet the hamster. God, this hamster actually looks devious. He's like, your Sim asses are mine. We've got spleens, we've got tonsils. This thing's much smaller though. I need a name that's for something much tinier. You've heard of Thanos, his name is Hamos. Hey, Tonsils, what do you think about your new friend, Hamos? He's probably like, my favorite food is lawn fertilizer. I've never seen this before. I've never seen Tonsils and Spleens engaged in Mortal Kombat. This lady just urinated all over herself. She's gonna end up dying of embarrassment. There's only a few people left. Spleens, get people inside. They need to start putting this fire out. Tonsils, buddy, what, what are you doing, man? Hamos is down there. Poor guy, he's like, I don't get it, he looks so close. This is Spleens after she got done huffing 30 pounds of catnip. She's like, ah, I don't think I'm gonna go into work today. I need to show y'all something. So Spleens is over here and uh, she's asleep. Or is she? I think the thing I love about this whole scene the most is how Spleens is sleeping right next to the dead body with her eyes open. <laughs> 
Well, if the contagion wasn't bad enough, someone just set something on fire. It's Flo Kane. She's trying to get rid of herself so she doesn't contaminate the rest of society. This guy got the disease and died out by the rodent cage, cursing it with his last breath. Hamos hasn't been fed in like three weeks. He's so pissed off right now. Spleens is over here sleeping in urine. That's pretty normal, I guess. Uh? Spleens is being taken away by a pet care worker. You better not land on my cat when you die. Fall to the right. That was close. Spleens has trouble seeing anything directly in front of her because of the directions her eyes face. I think that she thought that this shoe over here was one of her children. Tonsils is the only one that's chosen the, the third room of the lot. Poor Tonsils, he's over here. He's like, ant killer tastes good. Oh, Spleens decided to come in here too. Spleens is over here. She's like, look at all this meat that got the heat. Real quick, Olna just aged up. She's got the exact same eyes as Spleens. <laughs> Spleens is like, that's my daughter. She takes after me. Spleens is like, this is metal as hell, yay! Spleens is being taken away by a pet care worker. No, Spleens! Now, the Sims actually have a big benefit here because normally they would see one of their kin die and then they would sit there crying over their body for the next 12 days. But I'm gonna close each one off to the rest of the world. They won't even know that anyone else exists. They're Sims though, so they'll probably end up dying from like a urinary tract infection or something. Spleens hasn't eaten in like three days, but it's okay. She lives on a steady diet of methamphetamine. Yes, good Spleens. Ruin her life with your dutiful gaze. The description of hell is basically a bunch of people living in one house with only one bathroom. That's how I grew up. And now I'm going to force up to 100 Sims to experience the same pain. How do you feel there, Spleens? Spleens is like, it looks like Barbie took a bunch of speed and decided to design a house. I like how one eye is looking straight ahead and the other eye is eyeing this snowman. <laughs> do you want to eat the snowman or urinate on the snowman? No, man, because it looks like it's made out of cat litter. Okay, are you ready for the most cursed image of your entire Sims life? What the hell has happened here? Poor Spleens is like, I've never been the same after the accident. What is this? What, what, what are you afraid of? Is it the TV? Is it all the bars? Oh, never mind. Her eyes are back in different directions. She's fine. She's just having a little bit of a seizure. Spleens is over here. She's like, I can guard both staircases at once because her field of vision is like 270 degrees. Poor Spleens. She's over here. She's like, I know you're all dropping like flies, but could someone please feed me? Tonsils is over here living off the scraps of the dead. Spleens is over here like, I hope he's painting my good side. That is gorgeous. You just need to put Spleens' eyes a little bit farther apart. The best part of this whole endeavor is we still have spleens. I think the best part about being LSD is that if she wins and she's the only Sim left, it's fine because she can talk to herself for eternity. See, the great thing about being crazy is you always have at least one friend to talk to. It mentioned that Tonsils is a fearless pet. Don't worry, Tonsils. You will be afraid soon. You will be afraid soon. He's like, the only thing I'd be afraid of is not being able to see the inside of my brain lobes anymore. For some reason, when I saw Spleens here looking for food, I picture Batman's voice when he's asking the Joker where Rachel and Harvey Dent are. It's like, Spleens, why don't you get something to eat? And she's like, where is it? I'm not gonna lie, if I could get this as a reference painting, it would be perfect. Spleens and tonsils are still spleens and tonsils. I really don't know what else to say about this. And the first one in the room is tonsils. Oh, by the way, that's what tonsils sounds like. <laughs> Ah, uh, LSD is over here, sleeping on this little ottoman, just giving her a little surprise when she wakes up. Tonsils is over here, he's like, Tim Horton, crazy, gone crazy, he's putting pulls everywhere, Jesus Christ, wake up! You can actually tell how hungry Spleens is by how large her left eye gets. Also, I just realized that as you sleep in this bed, like 12 different people are creepily staring at your slumbering unconscious body. I mean, there's a couple of cats that are always staring at your slumbering unconscious body as well. Spleens is over here. She's like, oh yeah, I see all the Sims are eating. Oh, good for them. Do you know what I don't have any of? Food. Anytime you see a cat's groin airing out, you know it's Spleens. 
catching some Z's. Ah, uh, let's see here. Cause of death being in a gray still plays episode of The Sims. Yep, seems legit. How you doing there, tonsils? Still having aneurysms? Good, good. I'm glad that you're keeping your bow tie straight though, which is kind of impressive considering that half of your vision is inside of your own skull. I know a lot of people wonder what that discoloration is near the mouth of tonsils. That's actually the blood of Spleens' old husband. Tonsils is possessive. Very possessive. Why don't you have some cat food, LSD? Maybe that'll tide you over. I like how Spleens is all rolling up in Florida man's business. <laughs> Look at her just standing there. She's like, are you smelling him? That's all. <laughs> God, the scent was enough to make her right eye derp even more to the side than normal. I like how Tonsils is up here and he's like, I got dibs after she goes. There's a lot of fresh meat in that cat food after all. You had the heart of a champion, sir. You'll be remembered. Not by me, but maybe by Spleens. Spleens is like, I don't remember how to move my eye inward. You want me to remember that guy? Right as I say that, Spleens is a lazy cat. She's so lazy, human names are simply too much work for her. Spleens is running away, God no. She's the only one with any common sense in this episode. All right, it's Monday night. There's still about 30 people left alive and Tonsils is like, I love salty water. Oh, hey there, Spleens. How you doing, buddy? I heard you passed your drug test on Monday. Good for you. She's like, yeah, I just had Florida man piss for me. You look like you're in deep thought there, Tonsils. He's probably like, I forgot how to stand. I never thought I'd be so happy to have paused the movie on The Sims TV where like Tom Selleck is in mid laugh, but he looks like he's about to take a bite out of crime. And by a bite out of crime, I mean like a bite out of my face. Tom Selleck is like, humans taste good. I swear every time I pause, this dude is just straight up gold on the TV. This is absolutely adorable. I mean, it's a little less adorable when you see Tonsil's face, but you know what I mean. I appreciate that every time Tonsil sleeps, he looks like someone hit him with a car. If these Z's weren't here, I would think he was dead. Spleen's is like, get up, you're going to die. You're gonna die. This is simultaneously the happiest and the scariest I have ever seen Spleen's in my life. I don't know if Spleen's is double jointed or if she was just having convulsions and ended up breaking her leg. I think she's just trying to become friends with Hamo so that she doesn't die. Hansel's is a spoiled cat. I didn't know this. He's like, goodbye, cruel world. Tell Spleens I love her. Spleens is over here all narrow-eyed. She's like, I can feel some pleb talking about me now. So Spleens is over here eating and she's like, man, this tastes vaguely familiar. That's right, Spleens. We didn't let Tim Horton go to waste. This is one of those rare instances where if you look deep into Spleens' eyes, you can actually see the bowels of hell. You may think that Spleens is watching her while she sleeps, but Spleens just wants a front row seat to the death. Tonsils legit ran away and he never came back for the whole episode. I was waiting for someone to come up here and eat all these freaking hot dogs. Luckily Tonsils was up to the task and then he had a seizure. Anyway, I'll leave you with Spleens out here getting ready to mix up some drinks. His mother bird over here is probably talking trash about Australian man. She's like, see that disgusting being down there, child? This is why we don't associate with humans. Oh, and I kitten size Spleens and Tonsils too, and it's fantastic. Spleens' head just looks like a fuzzy football, and Tonsils, he just looks like his favorite seasoning is still paint thinner. All right, we've got eight additional demon spawns out here preparing to make LSD's life hell. I like that the cats are still out here to greet all these kids. Spleens is like, with my eyes, I can see you. And at the same time, I can see you. I'm just checking. Y'all know there's like a like a food and a litter box in there, right? I know that starving is easier than dealing with this episode, but come on. I'm literally like two seconds into building and Tonsils is already like, what the hell have you done? LSD is asking the cat. She's like, hey, do you know what the weather's gonna be like today? And Tonsils is like painful. So please don't go to sleep now. You're gonna miss the, oh my God. What is this face? She's like, I can see a Florida man's towel. Out of all the places Florida man had to piss, he literally did it right in front of Spleens' food bowl. <laughs> and everything just officially froze. I'm in the fast forward and nothing's moving anymore. Time has just stood still. Everyone I think almost died at exactly the same time and it completely destroyed the entire game. Oh, I can't even pan anymore. <laughs> 
tonsils has a depressed, somber look on his little kitten face. And that is because he knows the truth behind The Sims 4. It is a game of endless torture. Spleen's the cat has her eyes bulging out of her skull. Not because she has hypertension or anything, just because like instead of having an unusual amount of white blood cells, she has an unusual amount of cocaine blood cells. I like how as they're all walking up the stairs, Spleen's is right at the front door to greet them. She's like, how y'all doing? Doing good, huh? Yeah, that's nice. You're all gonna die here. There's only one bed here. So everyone's gonna have to figure out exactly how they wanna sleep. I appreciate that Australian man and tonsils have learned the benefits of sharing, but I don't think that any of the other Sims are going to be understanding that concept. Spleens is obviously so happy she can barely contain herself and she didn't get pregnant that this week. So I guess that's a bonus. What the hell did I just read? This guy has a very interesting pattern on his head. It's also possible that Spleens just slapped the hell out of him. I mean, I wouldn't mind if y'all fought to the death for the one single bed. <laughs> Spleens is like, I wouldn't mind that either. All right, we just had another death. People are just crying and or urinating all over Spleens over here. You can see the never ending stream of tears hitting the ground. Jesus Christ, Gray, what have you done? Tonsils is running away. Where are you going, buddy? Actually, how are you gonna leave? All the doors are locked. Hey, Tonsils, do you really have to like stand right next to the sparking refrigerator that has water right next to it? Spleens has gone into labor. It's about time. Where are you at, Spleens? This is a magical moment. I need to know what happens. Right now, it, it just kind of looks like she's doing normal Spleens things. A kitten is born. Spleens just gave birth to a kitten. The game would have us call him Nougat, but I shall call him Colins. Colins the... Apparently there's more than one cat. Guess we're bringing kidneys back into this too. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to Colins and kidneys. Kidneys is like, Jesus, what have I been born into? Tonsils is still trying to run away. Spleens is being taken away by the pet care worker. Yeah, good luck trying to get inside the house. They're like, you haven't fed Spleens in forever. I'm like, look, there's food everywhere. Spleens is running away from me or the pet care worker. This Is this the only guy that's left? Was that the one dude that was still left alive? No, that was our winner. He just died of starvation. I mean, I guess I can give the trophies to these cats over here, including Spleens, which has gotten the zombie plague or something. And so today we will build a house with 100,000 doors. Consoles is having a difficult time comprehending this number because he struggles to count above six. Florida man has been stuck inside of this sad little room with Spleens since I started. Spleens is like, God damn it, Gray. It smells like Bud Light and felony arrest records in here. Spleens has actually figured out the way to not get tortured like the rest of the Sims. Just like in the thousand mile long swimming pool, she has a tendency to just completely glitch out but she may be acting. She may be like, if he thinks I'm dead, I don't have to be a part of this. I'll even put a nice grill at the top here since you bastards haven't burned down a house in so long. Spleens, tonsils, if you two can make it up here, here you go. Little pet food bowl for him too. I mean, who am I kidding? They're never gonna get up here. Everyone's looking very pointedly at tonsils and tonsils is like, don't ask me for advice, I eat grass. Real quick, what the hell? What is going on here? Why does it look like he's about to shank her and take her wallet? See, he thinks he's gonna get away with it, but Spleens is like, I see you. <laughs> Y'all better recognize. Spleen sees everything. <laughs> Yikes. Tonsils has been bitten by a squirrel. That's what you get for not coming into the house, you little bastard. Hey, Spleens, since I know you can't make it up to the top floor for your food, there's something nutritious right there for you. Look at that face, she's like, you sick bastard. I like that everyone out here is just chilling alone. They left Florida Man in there, but Tonsils is like, I just want you to know y'all is fuck. And Spleens is over here sleeping in the middle of it all. Or is she? <laughs> I appreciate that LSD is giving Spleens a bath with her tears. Look at the cat, it's just sleeping under <laughs> the waterfall of crying. Spleens just woke up. She's like, what the hell, I'm all wet. Spleens is the only creature that's mastered the art of going up and down the stairs. The man family is back and everybody's outside having delicious flame cooked hot dogs. 
except for Spleens, who is eagerly awaiting the deaths of her owners. And Tonsils is so high that he's literally floating after his best friend. Tommy, I'm depressed always, Weenus. I just wanted to mention too that this is probably the most angry, scowling, demonic appearance I have ever seen from this cat. 99% of the time, Tonsils looks like he gargles Elmer's glue in the morning. The other 1% of the time, he looks like he wants to feast on your organs. Christ, it's like a feline version of Jack Nicholson from The Shining. This is like the most magical image of spleens I've ever taken because she's in like mid jump. She's actually very acrobatic because if you notice one eye can look straight ahead where she wants to jump and the other eye can make sure that nothing is going to impact her from the side. Say she made it. Spleens also likes to sit in between two different people because if you notice her eyes are split so wide that she can look at both of them at the same time. I love that his mood is happy and he still looks like he's trying not to cry himself to sleep. I will say that every time Spleens leaves, she ends up getting pregnant and I have no doubt that that may occur this time. I don't think that it's Tonsils getting her pregnant because I honestly don't think that Tonsils can like see clear enough to get it in. Spleens is just over here. She wanted to let y'all know Know that uh, drugs are bad. <laughs> this is a really weird scene because Australian man looks like he's judging Spleens and Spleens looks like she deflated. Spleens knows how to stay alive. She just has to stay in this one area of the couch. Although to be honest, by becoming the laziest cat ever to be found in any of these challenges, she's really replicating the appropriate behavior of a cat. I love this laser litter box so much. It's because it's the only litter box that can, you know, incinerate cat crap and also get rid of bodies. Normally the getting rid of bodies thing wouldn't be a great selling point, but honestly, in this game, you need it. It would actually be really funny if one of these Sims was a smoker or something and they lit their cigarette on Tonsils' flaming body. Turnip is a troublemaker. Really? You're still drinking out of the toilet? He's like, whoa, man, I'm really thirsty. <laughs> Gotta keep this big brain hydrated. I appreciate that Tonsils is hanging out next to Florida Man, keeping him warm because he's on fire all the time. He's just like a little walking fire hazard. Florida Man achieved the cooking skill. What is he using Tonsils? <laughs> it's like a grill. I'm not gonna lie, it would have been awesome if he was roasting this marshmallow on Tonsils' burning flesh. Actually, Florida Man is also apparently in a spot where the shade doesn't reach. This is really meta because he's burning alive while roasting a marshmallow while there's a burning cat next to him. The problem is it's, he's not dying due to his lack of intelligence. He's dying because it just feels like another day in Florida. It says Tonsils is running away. I don't know how. I would think he just runs in circles because of how jacked up his eyes are. Also, Tonsils, if you leave now, you won't get to watch as I give all of your owners vampire cancer. Oh, hey, Tonsils is back. No doubt he's brought child support with him. I don't know why, but every time Tonsils goes out, someone gets pregnant. Meanwhile, no matter how many tubs I put outside, none of them are interested in them. Australian man is like, I smell like clam chowder that's been sitting out in the sun for four days. Meanwhile, Bab is like, that sounds delicious. <laughs> and Tonsils is like, did someone say clam chowder? Tonsils is on the shelf over here. He's pretending to be a candle. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go ahead and leave us here with fresh baked tonsils. I can only picture him being like, I smell like mushrooms. Every once in a while, I pause the game and I find spleens looking extra majestic. You know how some people are double jointed? Spleens is like that, but only in her eyes. Never mind, apparently Tonsils is double jointed in his eyes too. I had no idea they were both like this. Yeah, Tonsils and Spleens, you bastards aren't getting out of this either. You want to eat, you got to do it outside. Yeah, don't mind her. Every once in a while, Spleens likes to yodel at the stairs. Tommy Weenus is still out here alone. He's having like this really impressive conversation with Tonsils, not understanding that Tonsils has no idea what the hell's going on. Tommy's like, you understand how I feel. And Tonsils is like, I like plastic. I forgot to mention to everyone, I made spleens and tonsils vampires as well. I never thought that he would burn like this though. I don't even know if he can die or if he'll just look like a flaming death cat. I mean, like a flaming death cat with a really low IQ. Tonsils, tonsils, how you doing, buddy? You're, uh, you're on fire, brother. He honestly doesn't look that concerned. The only concerning thing is that his left eye is trying to do a 360 inside of the socket. Oh God, the demonic possession has finally begun to overtake my cat. Spleens' body is like folding in upon itself now. 
I always love that Spleens looks like she's completely asleep. She's not. And Spleens is completely unconscious. Again, with his eyes totally open. This is the first time I've seen the winter outfits from Florida Man and Bethamphetamine. What in the hell are you wearing? Bethamphetamine looks like some 1960s bed sheets threw up on a college student. Florida Man looks like the top half of him wants to sell a used car and the bottom half wants to be an extra on a Mr. Rogers episode or something. Oh, this is cute. Everyone's actually eating together over here at the table. See, it's hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs, and cocaine. Hey, Spleens, are you, are you gonna come in the house, buddy? What are you doing? Are you just guarding the outside of it? I like how Death has like an upset stomach. He's like, this whole place smells like frozen moldy ass. This is a really interesting conversation that Florida Man and Spleens are having. Florida Man is like, I love Bud Light, and Spleens is like, I love having strokes. Or did someone just die? Spleens is over here like, why does it smell like piss in front of my food bowl? Good to see Spleens is out here, chilling by the pool. I like that the last thing that Florida Man did before anything else was start freezing to death and jump in the pool with the rest of the frozen dead body. <laughs> well, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with this face of tonsils. I'm gonna leave you with this face. <laughs> oh, Spleens has decided to join Flavored Bleach. That's nice of her. I like how this child is going absolutely friggin' buck wild. And Spleens is like, you know, that's a pretty good picture, I gotta tell ya. Couldn't have done better myself. Also, can someone please feed me? Spleens is in the kitchen looking for scraps. She's making a salad, but it's fine. Spleens is actually a vegetarian. All right, Florida man, you're allowed inside, but only to feed Spleens. How you doing there, tonsils? Yeah, you hitting on all those Spleenses? Where the hell are you going? Tonsils and his short ass little legs just took off. Tonsils, listen, I need you to start impregnating the various Spleenses. It's the only way to get this population completely out of control. Hey, Spleens, how you doing? You still alive in there, buddy? Yes, yeah, Spleens. <laughs> Spleens is looking good. This is one Spleens the cat. This is two Spleens the cat. This is five Spleens the cat. This is 18 Spleens the cat. I like how one of Spleens' eyes is 50% larger than the other. She's like, I can see that gnome eyeing me on the other side of the yard. Oh, and Spleens is still here. This is, this is the worst day in Sims history. I should have locked the front door. Go, Spleens. Be free. You freak of nature. When you come back, though, I'm locking these doors. You're never getting out again. Only one creature gets to enjoy the comforts of home. That's Spleens. Spleens is traumatized at this event. Not because he, he loved her. Because if all the humans die, there'll be no one left to feed him. Spleens has gone into labor. Of course she has. God damn it. A kitten is born. Your name is Hangnail. Oh god, another kitten is born. Oh, whatever, your name is Bleach. Oh my god. You adorable demon beast. I appreciate that one eye is like 50% larger than the other eye. I see Spleens has found the most comfortable area in the entire nightclub. My god, it's so comfortable, it's fixed her eyes. Oh, wait, never mind, I was wrong. And Spleens is still like, uh... There's only three people left with access to the food. I don't trust the child. This one's just yelling at the statue. She's like, who is this interloper? Even Death is thinking about Spleens. He's like, don't worry, Spleens. You're the one character I would never kill. Spleens is like, no, Death, you don't understand. I'm the one character you can't kill. I'm actually kind of surprised. Kidneys looks kind of high and falutin for a cat from the Florida Man family. God, people can't even sleep. This poor Sim is in bed just trying to rest and there's like six spleens in here just yelling at him. These two spleens are actually giving it to him from both sides of the bed. Third one just joined in. That's awful. You thought you could sleep on our dime, you bastard. We will meow all night long. Spleens and Tinker Hell are apparently having a very engaging conversation here. God, what an adorable creature. All the work that everyone had done is ruined. Because now there's a dead body, and they all have to stand here and cry over it. Meanwhile, Death is completely bugged out. He's not reaping the corpse. He's just leaving it there. Oh, shoot. 
It's a it's gonna Aww. be like a mass death right here till they both fell on top of one another. They melded into each other. Well, both Tommy and Beth are dead now. They died in the sweet embrace of one another. <laughs> hey, can you watch out? You're getting your tears all over spleens. Here you go, little demon beast. Have this ball. Now you may play with it. Okay, you could also just stare at it longingly. There you go. Tonsils is like, this is the first friend I've ever had. I'm gonna kick this ball just like my former family kicked me out of the house. I got bad news, everyone. One of the spleens had a stroke. Half of his face is constantly drooping now. His eyelid is closed on one side. Every once in a while, I pause the game and I find Spleens looking his most demonic. This is that time. I gotta see it move. Oh God! <laughs> it's awful. Does he truly want to live in this world? Probably not, especially with whatever that sound is that Tonsils is making. As always, the adorable Spleens is on the hunt for delicious cocaine, and Tonsils more than likely is having an aneurysm. I like how all of the Spleens are singing to T-Rex simultaneously. They're like, God damn it, listen to the song of our people. Where are you going? Damn, that savage, he straight up took T-Rex's spot. <laughs> what do you want, Spleens? What, you want a litter box? If you need a litter box, why don't you learn how to use the toilet like everyone else? <laughs> Spleen is gonna talk about how disparate. Oh, hold on. Open your eyes, Spleen. When her ears hang down, she looks even more like a troglodyte alien being. As usual, one of Tonsil's eyes is attempting to look up Bab Ross's towel. Spleens is on a leisurely stroll looking for discarded drugs around the property. The one eye is going in so far he can probably see the right side of his brain. Obviously, Spleens is here looking for felonies to commit. Spleens is like, what has two eyes, no future, and knows only a life of death? It's me. And Tonsils is here wondering why he was born in the first place. Also, I just realized I caught Tonsils mid-jump. Ah, the permeating scent of death now encroaches upon Hamos. Finally, we can get this party started. Oh, Colino. All right, Colino's looking beefy. He's been working out. Now all I need him to do is to try and be friends with Hamos. Hamos, though, is a dick. There it is. And thus the entire world is about to be ended. Okay, real quick. <laughs> It's like I pissed her off so much that her eye is about to jettison from her skull. Hey guys, guess what? Spleens is awake. You can always tell when Spleens wakes up because holy Jesus Christ, what happened here? Oh, well, now I guess I know how Spleens is able to look in like a 240 degree arc. There's nothing between her ears. That is a beautiful song you have, Spleens. How you doing there, Spleens? I can never tell if she's looking at something or if she's just, you know, looking straight ahead. Oh God, the heat has already given Spleens a slight stroke. Oh, wait, her medicine kicked in. She's fine now. I just realized why all of our cats are always so derpy. They're gleefully eating toxic food. Colin's over here eating and Spleens is like, yes, my child. Good. <laughs> I feel like Tonsils is out here consoling her, but realistically what he's probably saying is, hey, when you die, like, can I have all those hamburgers because you're not eating them? Is this cat licking the wastewater? <laughs> it sure is. As usual, Spleens the cat is here, looking from the ground at her dumbass owners, the people who have decided to show up yet again to another mansion given to them for free by Grey. Tonsils looks like he wants to kill himself as usual. And thus, I will leave you with sad spleens who will show her displeasure for one of the few competent owners finally dying and leaving her with piles of death everywhere. Tonsils, are you, are you eating a burger off the table? Tonsils, how come in the last episode when I killed everyone with garbage laying all over the house, you wouldn't eat a burger. There's a, there was a thousand burgers laying around the house, but now poor Florida man puts a burger down, goes to step away for 10 seconds, and you're already eating the goddamn thing. All the freaking cats are sick now too. <laughs> 
Spleens is like, I don't know what you're talking about. I feel great. I know, Spleens. No one's died yet. But just you wait. Spleens really cared about you. She cared about you so much that her right eye is almost looking at the back of her brain. As usual, Spleens' eyes have refused to see one another anymore. And as such, her gigantic field of vision is able to watch on in horror as her owners slowly bake. Tonsils has a bit of a deviated septum, so when he sleeps, it kind of sounds like, you know, someone's chipping wood. Even Turnip is distraught at this turn of events, although Turnip always looks distraught. You can never get the jump on spleens. This is how she sleeps. Her eyes are effectively separate entities. They have minds of their own. Sometimes I don't know if spleens is crying or if she's laughing. Spleens is over here like, I've never seen my owner so happy before. It would be a shame if they suddenly died. The writing jokes and Spleens is like, your jokes are crap, they're so bad, please kill me. Spleens is probably over here like, Jesus Christ, Gray, what did you do? Oh, we just had a kitten. Congratulations, kitten. Your name is Femur. Oh my God, we have two kittens. Whatever, your name is Ulna. Jesus, we have three kittens. Whatever, test this. All right, Spleens. Let me see what your adorable heathens look like today. Oh my God. This one really takes after Spleens. It looks like her eyes are trying to run away from one another. Where did you come from? You look far too normal. And you, little child of Spleens, you also appear to have at least a little bit of dirt. You wanna see the most adorable thing ever made? It's a little derp sleeping. Look at this alien-like cat being. It's so cute. I was wandering around the house and I turned the corner and Tonsils is there and he's like, hey. Oh Christ, Spleen has gone into labor again, no. I just randomized the name for the kitten and they want to call it Spatula. <laughs> How about Scapula? Congratulations, your name is Tumor. God, there's another one, I'm just gonna call you Coke. Spleens is having so many kittens that all the cats in the world are gonna have terrible derp eyes. See how one eye is slightly closed? That's because the, the left half of her over here is actually asleep. The right half is wide awake though. Spleens is getting taken away by a pet care worker, but why? Probably because they're like, well, I just saw someone eating a bowl of flaming beetles. Bleach has just aged up. <gasps> what a glorious specimen this cat is. It's already foaming at the mouth. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's pretty rare, but every once in a while you can catch spleens immediately after she ingests 400 kilograms of methamphetamine. People be like, where is she storing it all? It's all in her ears. Tonsils is over here. He's like, and remember kids, herpes is no joke. On the plus side, um, the adoption service will take good care of tonsils and spleens. A good loving family will be found for them. <laughs> and that family will be found dead like two weeks later. I guess I'll leave you with this lovely sad pair voicing their distress at the entirety of what they just saw this week. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.